he's saying one thing, putting something else in the bill. The airline industry has experienced turbulent times since the pandemic, with critical issues such as flight cancellations, passenger layovers, employee shortage, lost luggage, disruptions and claims. And there are signs this summer could be a bumpy ride too. When you listen to the minister yesterday, the problem is not that he's disagreeing in his words with us, his actions are disagreeing with his own words. On Monday, National Airlines Council of Canada reacted to Transport Minister Omar Algebra proposed measures aimed to tighten loopholes to travel compensations and flight disruptions penalties, saying some things are out of their control and they shouldn't be held responsible for everything. Air Passenger Rights President Gabor Lukacs says there are inconsistencies with what the Minister of Transport said and the actual wording of the bill presented before the House of Commons. We are actually seeking to uh, close the loopholes. He's just talking about the, closing the loopholes and keeping the loopholes in the bill. The response comes as the industry enters a particularly hectic time. We are not the only victims of the industry. So are the airline employees. On Tuesday, flight attendants represented by the Canadian Union of Public Employees launched the unpaid work won't fly campaign taking on four major airports in Canada to protest unpaid work and looking to negotiate a new collective agreement. And WestJet pilots are just a month away from a potential strike, putting a smooth travel season in question. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.